A British biotech company is developing a new method of dyeing clothes. It uses microorganisms to mimic the way nature creates colors. It's hoped the process will eventually cut down on the use of water and heavy chemicals in the textile industry. Matt Stuttard has the story. Welcome to the Colorifics Laboratory here in the English city of Norwich. The company is working to develop dyeing processes that use 90% less water than traditional methods. So we're harnessing the ability of microbes, in this case, to be able to deposit and fix uh, a pigment onto fabric. The company harvests genes that create colors in nature and transfers them into microorganisms. These are then transferred to a fabric in a process which eliminates the bacteria. As well as using less water, the technique also avoids the need for hazardous chemicals and works at lower temperatures than normal dyeing. When you look at even microbes as a subclass of all living organisms, they make some spectacularly beautiful colors, okay, blues, reds, yellows, greens, and so we're taking some of those and putting them into a specific microorganism that's safe to use and being able to take that microorganism that will then deposit and fix the, the pigment onto the fabric. Colorifics is now preparing to launch industrial scale trials in partnership with several clothing and textile brands such as H&M, Forster Rona and Arvind. If successful, the company expects to start selling its dyes commercially in 2020, hoping to shift the clothing industry towards an increasingly eco-conscious market. You can be environmentally sustainable, but you may not be socially sustainable, or you, your, your process may cost so much nobody's going to adopt it. Okay? So when you look at what we do, we're trying to achieve sustainability across all of those sectors, because that, in the end, is what's important. With a French company also pursuing similar technology, it's hoped this new method of using nature to dye our clothes will quickly weave its way towards becoming the industry standard, leaving less of a stain on the planet. Matt Stuttard, CGTN.